From Washington, this is VOA News. The UN Commission is to investigate human rights violations in the CAR. Egypt not invited to a U.S.-Africa summit in August. I'm Victor Beatty reporting from Washington. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has named a three-member international commission to investigate reports of human rights violations in the Central African Republic. Those appointed to the commission include former Mexican Foreign Minister Jorge Castaneda, Mauritanian human rights lawyer Fatimata Mbai and Bernard Achomuna, a lawyer for Ka- from Cameroon and deputy chief prosecutor for the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, who will chair the panel. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the capital Bangui Wednesday, French and African peacekeepers engaged in crowd control as People protested the presence of Salika fighters in an army barracks. One of the protesters, Bernard Desiree Mariano, complained that members of the Salika fighters continue to attack neighborhoods at night and steal. Where can we go, he says, to find peace? The United Nations estimates more than 2,000 have been killed in sectarian violence and hundreds of thousands displaced in CAR in the fighting between mostly Muslim Salika and Christian anti-Balika militia. Officials in South Sudan have accused anti-government forces of killing nearly 130 hospital patients in the town of Bor, a town in uh, Jongle State, the capital that is, that has changed hands several times since fighting erupted in mid-December. The government Wednesday said the patients were killed in a, an attack last month by forces loyal to former Vice President Riek Machar. An opposition representative, however, denied the accusations, saying the government has been issuing propaganda and making inciting statements that are divisive. His comments came from Ethiopia, where an African regional bloc known as Iget has been trying to broker a ceasefire between the two sides. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, the army, coupled with UN soldiers, has conducted operations against the Ugandan rebel group operating in the east. VOA's Gabe Jostler reports the action is aimed at members of the Allied Democratic Forces, known as ADF, which got underway last Friday. The Islamist group began its rebellion in neighboring Uganda in the mid-1990s with the aim of overthrowing the government there. The Ugandan military operation pushed the group into eastern Congo, where it has attacked civilian populations and driven tens of thousands from their homes. The United Nations estimates the group has about 500 members. These latest operations follow the successful campaign by Congolese soldiers and a UN intervention force against the M23 rebel group. The M23 rebellion flared in late 2012 with an attack on Congo's main eastern city of Goma and caused hundreds of thousands of people to flee until the group was stopped late last year. A lack of state authority and mismanagement of local resources in eastern Congo continue to plague the region while providing the conditions for armed groups to wreak havoc. Gabe Joslow, VOA News, Nairobi. The White House says President Obama will invite leaders of nearly 50 African governments to an August summit in Washington. An assistant press secretary said Mr. Obama will include all African heads of state or governments with the exception of those who are not in good standing with Washington or under African Union suspension. And that includes what said White House spokesman Jay Carney, Egypt. Egypt has not been invited uh, because it is suspended from the African Union. And that's the reason why Egypt was not invited. Is there any concern that that is a missed opportunity to have discussions that you'd like to be having with you? Well, I think we have uh, regular discussions with uh, Egyptian leaders and authorities focused on the bilateral relationship, on security matters, but also on developments in Egypt. And uh, our belief that uh, Egypt needs to transition to a civilian-led government uh, in a process that 
uh, is inclusive, uh, where uh, Egyptians, Egyptians from all walks of life get to express their views and be heard. The White House says the summit uh, will be used to strengthen U.S. trade and investment ties with the continent. The White House says among the invitees, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Kenya, Mali, Nigeria, and South Sudan. In Libya, an abducted South Korean trade official, Han Seok Woo, has been freed by security forces of being, after being kidnapped by four unidentified men last weekend. A foreign ministry spokesman said he's in good shape. Some of the kidnappers have been arrested. The motive for the abduction was not ideological or political. There was no claim of responsibility. I'm Victor Beatty, VOA News. More can be found on the Internet at voanews.com.